What's up gamers, it's Paladin Null, and we're back with some more Darksiders. In the last episode, we basically finished up the majority of the tutorial. I think there might be just like a little bit of tutorial left, but honestly, not much. Seeing some, some dead bodies around here. Now we learn that we can double jump, even though I've technically been doing it this entire time. And this, this is one thing that I've always thought made Darksiders amazing. Now watch how fast I can move on this uh, on this ledge here. I know it's not much, but not having to just sit there and like, like very slowly, just like one bit at a time move, it makes the difference. Now these bodies look entirely too evil to not be zombies. And sure enough, it's zombies. Here comes the welcome party. War, why don't you introduce yourself? Just shut up and let me kill the zombies. I'm not a fan of yours. I believe they they tell you in a, in one of these fights up ahead, which I haven't told you yet, and I'm sorry for that. But um, they tell you here in a second. Uh, if you hold X, you do an uppercut, so you can juggle them in the air, which is really nice because these guys don't die from the straight combo. So if you can hit them up into the air, you can get a better combo off on them. some of these guys here. Oh, you're still alive. Nope. He looks friendly enough. And he exploded the ground. You don't need to tell me how to do something. I can move on my own. Gauntlet, gauntlet glow. Wars gauntlet glows near interactive objects such as chests or doors. Press B to activate them. Remember how we could insta kill enemies in um, Warhammer 40k and get our health back? It's back in this game. There's also a broken door here that we can action open to. Uh... There goes that. We don't actually want to climb down though, we actually want to go up around here. I know it's kind of trickery for them to show it off like you're going down, but you just want to come up here like this. Now the only problem with executing like that is you don't get as many, uh, like, killed souls. Like I think you get one less soul for every enemy that you kill that way. However, it is important to keep your health up, and I am not doing that. Let us, whoops, fall down a level and see that this guy's shadow is actually glitching through the floor. Oh, I fell all the way down. I gotta climb all the way back up. This is great. I didn't do this before. Um, how do I... Oh, I suppose, you know what? They probably provide that elevator shaft down to the bottom for people who fell like I did. Either that or this game was not bug tested, and I need to restart. Come on, game. Don't make me restart. Just show me the elevator shaft. The door's busted on that one, and that is the actual elevator that we want to go in as well. Or that would be the elevator we would want to go in, but we can't. So how do I advance? Oh wait, right, right. I am, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, everyone. That was all my fault. I showed this off earlier, and I didn't even remember that it was here. That was all on me. My inability to remember the tutorial course because I only ever did it once. Jump. Catch that. Swing up a couple times. Did, did I just see a zombie fall? Table for one. Ah, 
you are just not letting me have any fun. Ow. Yeah, I'm on my second life stone. Um, it might be time to start executing some zombies instead of killing them. Or, it might be time to use the blade! Come on. Ah! And I gotta climb this entire thing again because I wasn't paying attention. But at least I remember that this is here. And I need to cough. Great. These episodes just get, get better and better. Only the best quality. Come on. At least I can say it again. I really like the way they made war look in this game. Now come here. You just want to attack him a couple times and dodge. Oh, he's gonna die. Yeah, whenever he does that, he's near death, and you just want to run away from him. Oh, I was gonna chain that so well. Dragging objects, like any other good hack and slash slash dungeon uh, sort of crawliness game, there tend to be puzzles where you push things around and there's still a zombie alive. But not anymore. Come on. Up you go. And pipe. I think this is where they teach you that you can do the, uh, the rapid traversing on the pipes. You're dead, and you're dead. I want to gather as many souls as I possibly can, because there's something up ahead that we really want that requires souls. Or rather, we just, well, there's something that requires souls in the next little bit of the game that, uh, it'll basically save us a lot of extra trouble to have more souls anyway. I mean, you should be trying to get them anyway. I mean, they're cu your currency, and it's always good to have more money in the games like this. Ah, oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go across to the other side. Stop shaking, game. No, let me jump across. Up. Oh. Great. I did all that working for what? To go up one floor instead of two. And there's a seal on the room. Come on. You're all gonna die eventually, so you might as well let me kill you, I guess, a second time, considering you're all zombies and you're all dead. What now? Oh, joy! Um. Ow. I didn't dodge that. Oh, man, my health bar. Okay, I'm gonna need to do this. Basically, I just used my one life crystal up and it let me uh, get all of my health back up. Stab him. Ow. Stop it, please. Abuse the invincibility frames. And I didn't use the... I'm not dodging in the right direction anymore. Uh-oh. Stab you in the hand. Just sort of... You know, just beat the shit out of you. That's the, that's the best way to solve this problem. Making me use up my one health potion. Oh, where was... Oh. This, that's, that's across the way. Let's 
go this way. Well, there's no going back now. Let's jump up here. We can finally jump over broken staircases. Best game. Handle those guys. Ooh, a chest. You see how it has that green glow around it? Well, that basically means whenever you open it, it's gonna give you a lot of uh, health souls. The crossroads. How long was I gone? In Earth years? About a century. Long enough for the last of the mouth breathers to die off. Then, the Third Kingdom is lost. You know, I think I'm starting to recognize this voice actor. I'm gonna have to look it up and I'll probably add a little text bit and post here, but I'm pretty sure that that voice actor for War is Liam O'Brien. He's credited with a lot of voice acting and he's got a pretty distinct voice. I'm gonna look it up afterward and then, like I said, I'll put it in post here. Subtle. I almost didn't hear you coming. Vogrum. The Council finally took me seriously. If so, you're surely not empty-handed. Well, this shall be the briefest of introductions. Um nom 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 we're paying him in souls so that he can eat them. There were a few young ones. Oh, spectacular. You You're seek gross. the power behind the one called Destroyer. You will find the answers and the font of his power there. Time to go. Oh, such haste to die. You aren't even a shadow of your former self. You wouldn't last a heartbeat. Besides, the way to the tower is shrouded by demon magics. Even I do not know the way. Who does? Feed my hunger. And I'll feed your curiosity. Really? You are a jerk. We already paid you a little bit of our souls. In fact, you saw there we had less souls than we started with. A demon trinket that reveals the location of nearby chests on the map. So now we can actually do this and see that there are multiple chests on the map for us to collect. Some of these are going to be uh, soul-based chests, and some of these are going to be health-based chests for obvious reasons. Let's, uh slaughter some of these people out here. This is why I said you want to grab as many souls as you can. This mission it's not necessarily annoying. You'll be always be able to find the amount of souls that you need in this area. But if you kill uh, if you kill enemies um, beforehand and get a bunch of souls up in the first place, you tend to have enough to easily do this mission without um, without actually losing too many souls. Smack him with the chair. Or smack him with the uh, car. We want to dodge his attacks. Ow. I said dodge, not get hit directly in the face by them. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! The full combo means I'm, like, stunned for about a couple of frames. I can't immediately dodge his attack afterward. Here we go. Stab your hand. Giving you good smacking around. And through the head you go. 
Give me all them souls. And a health chest to heal up, like I said. There's obviously places where health chests are placed, and therefore reasons like that. Now we head down into the sewer. Or I guess not the sewer, it's the subway. And at full health, we don't really need to worry about collecting any health from the zombies. We want to climb up onto the ceiling, and... Those things are just creepy. It's like a bludgeon made out of skulls and, like, other organic material. Anyway, drop here, and we open up a chest full of souls. Which will bring our total up to 362. Swimming. B to descend, Y to ascend, RB to dash underwater. You'll notice down here, oops, that's X, not B, uh, there's a little green thing glowing here. You want to collect that. Artifact Soldier. These ancient insignias were given to the legions of hell as trophies for the carnage of the end days. Return to Vulgrim and he will reward you. I believe that's the only thing back here. So we want to ascend now that we've got that. And climb out of here. Did I just... I thought I dropped something for a second. It's just the textures of me climbing. Let me check the time limit here real quick. I have a, a timer set up on the floor for some reason. And we've got... We're at 16 minutes, so we've got a little while longer. Let's see what's going on here. Um, any more chests that we can locate? I believe there's a... This chest is one that we can locate right here. And this chest... I'm not sure how to get to that one, honestly. But we can easily get to the other chests as well. So let's just walk past Volgrim here. He won't... You can actually talk to him, and he won't... Um... How are you still alive? Uh, you can talk to Volgrim, um... Uh, before you have the souls, and then he yells at you for wasting his time. Yeah, this is this is kind of a boring part of the game, collecting souls and whatnot. But it's something we have to do for this section of the game. It's just trying to teach you like exploration and how to gather souls and whatnot. Blocking is completely and totally useless in most cases. I probably won't be using blocking just because dashing is so much better. And you cut him off at the knees and then slice him in half. At the waist. That is a brutal execution. Actually, I'm missing a little bit of it, and I don't think I'm going to be low on souls, so you are free to uh, come with me. These desks, not sure why, but these desks also have souls in them. A lot of breakable objects have souls in them. So you're typically better off shattering things against people, because uh, not only does it give you a long-range weapon, but... Um... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. But not only does it give you a long-range weapon, but it also gives you a couple of extra souls. But this should, uh, cap us out, yeah. And now, in true Navi style, watch what the wa the Watcher does here. We have enough souls to feed Vulgrim's hunger. Now, maybe he'll feed our curiosity. He is straight up just Navi. Why, why didn't that, why did you break And by the way, out here, we've got a couple of these regular guys, right? And then further back in there, there's a really big guy again. If you're still hungering for some souls. Which, of course, I am because I'm just greedy and want to gather as many souls as I can. Come on, I don't really want to fight you, but I will. Wow, 
Why won't I grab this car? I can't pick up the car. It's part of the scenery. Can I pick up this car? No, I cannot. Oh, it's because I've got a parking meter. I picked up a parking meter, so I couldn't pick anything else up. Ow. Ow. I've noticed that tends to work if you uh, get above him like that. A lot of his attacks tend to go below you. Not all of them, but most of them. Here we go. That seems to be the easiest way to handle them is to uppercut them and just get above them. And we get a lot of health and um, other souls. Also, the ravens carry a lot of souls. Dies. There's one chest back here that I don't think I grabbed whenever I did this the first time. Uh, and it looks like it's a health chest. But there is a way downstairs. And in half he goes. We can grab a health chest here to fill up the rest of our health bar and jump down here to find out what's down here, and it's another secret chest full of souls. Is there anything else in here that we can find secret-wise? Doesn't look like it. But yeah, there's a little secret for you. And there, obviously there's uh, one chest down in a hole over here that's a health chest and we don't need it. I like how if you have this out, you use it as your weapon instead of, um, instead of Chaos Eater. But there's a chest down in this hole, but it's just a health chest, so we don't care about it right now. And there's, uh, I want to say a souls chest up there, but I don't know how to get up there. I also don't know what that blue thing is up there either. That thing right there. Whatever it is, I missed it with my sign. Anyway, we've got the souls we need, and we don't really need any of the other chests in the area, so let's go talk to Volgrim. <laughs> These ancient gates have a mind of their own, but with this, you may reach an understanding. Beyond the gate, seek out Samael's prison. Once, Samael was close in power to the Dark Prince himself. Some might even say, a threat. You will find, he is no friend to the Destroyer. Seek me out when you've gathered more souls. I will make it worth your while. And we've gone a little bit further over time than I thought, but not as far over as last time. Earthcaller, a masterfully carved horn whose call awakens ancient gates. Press RT to activate the horn when equipped. Some creatures can be knocked back by the Earthcaller's uh, de deafening blast. So basically, um, well that's the wrong menu. Go into this menu. We can map gear now. We want to map gear to there. And so, if you hold LB, then you get this set up. And if you just press the keys, you get that one. And we have this equipped so that whenever we hit RT, we do a deafening blast. And we are going to do that deafening blast in the next episode. Um, this has been Darksiders. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, don't forget to leave a rating. It is much appreciated. And, as always... Stay tuned for the next episode, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.